Hey guys, the aim of this video is to use L Hopital's rule to work out the limit of different functions. As you can see with this function over here, if we try and substitute x equals to 0 into our function sine x divided by x, we end up with the indeterminate case of 0 divided by 0, and we can't work that out. So what L Hopital's rule does for us is give us a way of solving this limit by taking the derivative of the numerator and denominator. So let's go ahead and do that. The derivative of sine x is cosine x. And the derivative of x is just 1. So now when you substitute x equals to 0 into our new function using L Hopital's rule, you get cosine of 0 over 1. And cosine of 0 is just 1. So 1 on 1 equals to 1. So using L Hopital's rule, we can see that the limit of sine x divided by x when x approaches 0 is just 1. Okay, so moving on to the second example, we have the same problem if we substitute x equals to 1 into the denominator, 10 minus by 1 is 9, minus by 9 is 0. So we have the indeterminate case again. So what we do is use L Hopital's rule and we can easily solve this by finding the derivative of the numerator. So the derivative of 5x to the power 4 is 20x cubed and the derivative of 4x squared is 8x. This is all over. Derivative of negative x is negative 1 minus by 27x squared. So now when we substitute x equals to 1, we have 20 minus by 8, which is 12, divided by negative 1 minus 27, which is negative 28. So we can reduce this fraction by a factor of 4, so divide 12 divided by 4 is 3, and negative 28 divided by 4 is negative 7. So our limit of this function is negative 3 on 7. And that's how you find the limits of different functions using L. Hopital's rule.